All right, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another deck profile. Lots of deck profiles this week, so stay tuned for that. But we are here with teammate and friend Russell Stelzer. He had a really good weekend at PPG with Go Tanks. Russell, what's going on, man? Good, man. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, man. It's always a good time to have you on the channel. So um, there were reports that you were missing your lucky hat, so we know that if you had that, you would have went all the way to the top. <laughs> So uh, we, we won't hold this one against you on the team. But anyways, so you played Gotenks. Uh, we've been working on this deck a lot as a team, especially Andy. I know Andy's put like a ton of time into this deck. I'm also very interested in the deck. Uh, but your list is very interesting to me, and uh, we will we will definitely get into that. But overall, why do you want to take Gotenks to this tournament? So as far as like playtesting goes, like I, I didn't get to, like play test a ton, and I know Andy had put quite a bit of work into it, and so has some other people on our team. Uh, and it seemed to be like the deck that, you know, in our group chat, you know, was most talked about. Um, so it was just like, it was easy for me just to read what everybody was saying and kind of like piece it together and uh, build a deck and just go with it. Um, so a lot of my, my list is a little kind of funky with some text, um, but that's just because like, I wanted to try stuff out uh, and use this tournament as just kind of like a gauge of like what i do like and don't like in a deck and for the most part it worked out uh, there's definitely some things that, that would change um but for the most part you know it, it flowed pretty well and i was pretty happy with how it performed so we've had a few days here to like digest what's gone on over the weekend obviously go tanks absolutely destroyed the weekend like it was uh it was the most dominant deck by far and there are a lot of people saying, oh man, we have tier zero, go tanks, this and that. But now a few days later, people are already saying like, oh yeah, go tanks is gonna fall off. So so in your opinion, where do you fall? Where do you fall in line? Do you think that go tanks is gonna continue to be really dominant? Do you think it's gonna kind of uh, fall off? Or do you think it's gonna kind of just find a, a sweet middle ground somewhere? Um, I don't think that it's gonna dominate in the sense that it's gonna take 10 out of like top 16 spots like it did in uh, Miami. It was like nine or 10. Mm -hmm. um, but I still think the deck is extremely potent. I think it's that it, it is the deck of this format that is just like the most generic or the most consistent and well-rounded deck. Uh, Go Tanks is always going to do what it wants to do every game. It just has so many ways to like see its pieces. It draws so many cards. Um, it just has really good recursion. You know, if you deal with its board, you just you get so many cards back. Um, so there's just a lot that Go Tanks does really well, and the leader just has like pretty unique ability um and because of that i just think i think the deck is just very solid it has a lot of really good tools at its disposal um and you get to play the best secret rare in the game probably more efficiently than any other deck so uh i see go tanks being at the top of the meta for quite a while very cool all right let's get into that main deck so your Unison lineup was different than any I've ever seen before. So the three S three, uh, the four S three Vegito definitely play it. But then the two mm -hmm. Golden Freeze Unison and Malice. So I definitely understand wanting extra copies of a two drop Unison because it's part of your Awakening condition. A lot of lists only play the the four Vegito and that's it. But why Golden Frieza and not like Bardock, for instance? Uh, so as far as Bardock goes, like I'm just not the biggest fan of that card. I've honestly never really been the biggest fan of it, uh, especially because there's not really any one drops in the deck that you want to pop. All of your one drops you really want to, you know, get off the board when you need to. Like go cool, you know, you, you sack him to like search more. Um, Gohan, you, you know, he's a blocker. So you want to be able to like utilize your leader's ability to uh, get revenge and try and KO something. Um, and I really wanted, like the deck is just so consistent. And for me, when I go into big tournaments, I want consistency, as much consistency as possible. Um, and obviously Vegito is your best unison, but having six unisons with a specified cost of two, uh, just seemed like the right sweet number in order to ensure that I was always going to be able to see one on turn two. And Golden Frieza was just my favorite one. Um, Cause you'll notice later on in this deck profile, I'm pretty heavy on the hand destruction in this deck. And uh, the plus one is actually pretty relevant when you're playing a hand destruction strategy because he gains critical. Also being able to just like see an extra card every turn is pretty nice. But the minus two in this tournament actually like won me so many games like if it wasn't for that, that minus yeah. two if it wasn't for that minus two i probably would have lost like two or three extra games without it like it was actually insane throughout the tournament 
Yeah, it's actually very similar to the SS4 uh, Goku 5 drop unison. That That's part of its auto when you play it, but this is a minus two. And it's essentially the same thing. Like that one requires mm -hmm. you to like bottom deck battle cards. This one requires you to KO battle cards. And it is tough to get through, especially because like you can't just sack your little one drop weenies, right? You have to sacrifice yeah. some heftier cards. So that definitely exactly. uh, like it. makes a lot of sense. Like in top 16 against Rios, um, I ended up winning in game three. Uh, but because of the minus two on his last turn to try and kill me, like it forced him to have to pitch extra cards every time to try and he kept pitching cards to bring back Zarbon to sack off in order to attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of cards really fast. Yeah. So because of that, you know, he lost out on the combo power, you know, so if it wasn't for Golden Frieza, I probably wouldn't have uh, won in top 16 against Rios. Very cool. I'll definitely be trying that. Thank you for that. <laughs> so next up, we have four Goku. Four Goten, three Trunks, one Goten. Okay, so the ratios here, I see a lot of lists do a lot of things differently. I even mm -hmm. see Andy play three Goku, which I, I I really don't like. I like the four Goku, but um, as far as like the Goten to Trunks go, I see a lot of different ratios here. I mean, do you feel like this is like the perfect set of ratios or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Andy, but you 100% run four Goku. <laughs> like, <laughs> I agree, you know, I agree. You, if you see this guy turn one, it's just, it's a wrap. Like your hand is just so explosive. Your hand will always be big. As long as you see Goku, you'll have 10 plus cards in hand throughout pretty much the entire game. Um, I run four of the Sun, Goten and Trunks just because he can be either or. Um, so again, with consistency, he's just that consistent one where as long as I have him in hand, I can see any of the other ones and always be able to unit fusion. Mm -hmm. Also, he's just like, an easy target to like play out there's a lot of times where you like play him out um in order to get like cheap damage in late game uh especially since he's a three drop like being able to play out like two of him um uh, helps with numbers with sell later on in the game uh so being able to like pay two energy and get two of him out um uh, was actually really relevant throughout the tournament when as far as going to sell ser uh, and then I run three of the trunks just because he's better than the Goten. Right. Uh, he's you always want to be fu uh, fusing with him just because he lets you see more unison. So like when you fuse with him, you can potentially see uh, get four cards to your hand off of a fusion, which is crazy. Um, and then the one of Goten just because I like the number. I like having like the five Gotens and the potential seven trunkses. Um, it the number just worked out really well for me and i never had a problem seeing and like missing out on one or the other um so yeah the, like those that number just seemed to work really well for me very cool all right so we have the four grim reaper of course you're playing it the one all out assault so a lot of people play this at two was, was one just okay for you yeah, I honestly hate this card. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. I was actually talking to Brian Samuel about it. Like, you rarely play this card. Um, he's just kind of there as like, a, there, he's like situational. Like when he does come up, you know, sometimes you do need to like snipe a unison um, without being able to attack. Uh, sometimes a double strike is relevant, but you're like 99.99% .99 of the time, you're always going to Grim Reaper. Um, and so the, he was there as a one of in case I needed him. Like you can always search him out. Um, but Grim Reaper is just your go to. So that's why I only ran one of him because like most games you'll like never go into the five drop. Um, and then obviously sell uh, SCR is just the best secret rare in the game. Right. Well, it's um, just, just as easy as two Grim Reapers. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah. It, it's ridiculous and honestly in my version like i said i'm going super heavy on hand destruction and there is multiple times that i would take people from 10 to 12 cards in hand to zero in one turn wow uh so like cell was just cell was just ridiculous all weekend like I, there's no there's no need to explain him <laughs> God, yeah for sure uh four charismatic villain two zamasu and the two android 18 we'll get to that in one second because that's that's really mm -hmm. glaring but uh the zamasu so we talked about it on the team we talked about how you know sometimes it is tough to like get the freeze on the board have it stick for a turn and then like try and set up the zamasu so mm -hmm. how did this ratio work out for you did you like it do you wish you didn't play it how was it um so i actually really liked zamasu uh zamasu is one of those cards that is very key in the mirror match so frieza charismatic villain is like one of the most important cards just because as long as you have your unison out uh your opponent can't just throw out grim reaper or else you're just gonna pop it with frieza so that's kind of the thing about the mirror match is like 
you're all you're both fighting around the unisons and trying to gain control of each other's counters um because if if you can freely play Grim Reaper, you're you're now ahead because now I get to pressure you and you have to deal with my Grim Reaper. Whereas if you play Grim Reaper and I'm able to uh, freeze you, now you're behind. Um, and Zamasu is another big one because if you're if you're Frieza, Charismatic Villain sticks on the board, you get to play Zamasu. Go Tank just can't interact with it in a mirror match. Like they go and dormant potential you and pitch a card. Uh, then your second attack, you just swing with Zamasu, and now they they lost three cards that turn. Yeah, they're just bleeding uh, cards kinda, at that point. The, yeah, and the mirror match is just so grindy that you're gonna get quite a few attacks in with this Zamasu uh, that it just like slowly takes over the game. Um, so Zamasu is definitely key. Uh, in in some other matches, it's not that great, but honestly, with how many people are playing Go Tanks. I think that you have to main the Zamasu just because you're putting yourself at a disadvantage um, if you don't have it in your main deck. Gotcha. Um, now, Android 18, I gotta know about this. I gotta know yeah, about this. Yeah, so it was like, an, the, me and Marcus talked a little bit about it uh, in theory, and it seemed really cool. And again, this was like lack of play testing. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw two of this card in. Um, also, I didn't have uh, TP Zarbons. Uh, Delhi Defender was 100% the worst card in my 65. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think I cast it once the entire tournament. Honestly, like every time I saw it, it was charged as energy, and then after game one, I sided it out. Like, <laughs> the so card just was for like, terrible. was this for like SS4 Vegeta, like Zarbon blocker is supposed to be? Was that kind of the role there? Kind of, and there was just like you know cool scenarios where you could like play him and then like uh, free play like a, a Gohan, and then you have dormant, and there's just like absolutely no way your opponent is like touching your life that turn. Um, but three energy is like pretty costly, and it just right. like never came. There was just more things I'd rather be doing with my energy. Um, it was also kind of cool, like you know if people are still playing like the Zamasu leader. You can you can play this guy out, and your opponent just like can't attack with their. Uh, if you don't have like a Eunice now and you just like play him, like he doesn't get the revenge, but then your opponent's uh, leader just like can't attack. And so they can't get like the draw two off the Zamasu leader. Um, but yeah, the card just didn't come up. <laughs> gotcha, fair enough. All right, so moving on, we have three Rebrian, two Masaroshi, two Gohan, and the four Android 18 Bionic Blitz. So um, only three Rebrian in a, in a super hand destruction heavy build. Is that all you needed? Yeah, because you draw so much in this deck that, like, honestly, I would rebrand, like, two times, like, almost every game. Okay, and you just happen to see it enough there. Um, I like the yeah. Gohan a lot for the revenge portion with the with the Unison. That's really mm -hmm. cool. And then Bionic Blitz is one that, like, people go back and forth on because it's really bad when you get all in. Um, but otherwise, yeah. for the hand control portion of the deck, it's obviously really good. So, would you continue to play the Super Combo going forward? Oh, honest. I loved Violent Blitz. It was definitely one of my favorite cards in the deck. Shout out to Andy from our team. He was the one that like originally uh, was playing the four Bionic Blitz, and it was it was clutch. Like I said, so many times throughout the tournament, I would like take someone from huge hands to zero. There was one game like I swung in on, uh, or I I did Vegito Unison Ultimate, so they discard three, paid two for Rebrand, so they discard two more. That's five. Swung into their unison, uh, comboed um, four bionic blitzes. That's four more cards that they lost, so that's nine cards. And then I went into sell three more cards, so I had 12 cards in one turn. That's big damage. <laughs> that's big hurt. Yeah. All right, so yeah, it seems really, really good. And then we have just the extra card lineup. So Dormant, Shocking Death Ball. Um, I want to ask you about Boo Boo Volleyball and Max Power. So Boo Boo Volleyball, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's like Power Burst for the deck. So um was this card good as a one-up yeah so again my my lineup for negates was a little weird uh just because it was like i didn't know which ones were the best uh just because of lack of play testing so i was like you know what i'm gonna throw one of each of these into my deck and see which ones perform best throughout the tournament uh, but honestly like they all three like came in pretty clutch at certain points or another so i don't know how i would change this lineup because all three of them were actually just like really good at different points um and i wouldn't say like anyone like really outshined the other except maybe max power max power is actually one of like the mvps as far as negates goes dormant we all know dormant's just ridiculous in yep. this deck you loop it almost every turn 
Um, shocking death ball again. If I ever had to tap out, it was nice just to be able to like still have a negate ready. Um, Boo Boo Volleyball um, it was pretty clutch, especially against... Uh, I played against a Sin Shenron player, and that de that match was actually like pretty scary, especially because you would like negate my guys and then pop them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I wouldn't get my union pieces back. So being able to get them back with the negate was pretty nice. Also, just like being able to pitch like dead extra cards and get combo pa power back late in the game when I'm trying to survive is good. Uh, um, but max power was actually especially good in the mirror match because again, in the mirror match, it's such a battle of like unisons. Uh, and being able to like dormant and then max power like their second attack and warp four get it back at your hand so you didn't lose a card and then you have a negate for next turn um, and being able to keep an extra counter on your unison was actually super relevant in the mirror match. Very cool. Yeah, I like I like the negate lineup a lot. I mean, uh, you're basically playing seven, which uh, I think is fine. That it's all one one one. I think it works out pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, just walk us through the side deck here. All right, so we have two of the AOD Vegeta. Um, this was just kind of for any deck that was really good at building like boards, like, you know, Sin Sh I sided against like Sin Shenron. Uh, I even sided in against like the Mirror Match just because it's like a big beater that uh, they have to deal with that they can't freeze up because most of your threats like can just be freeze up. Um, and you're always trying to play around that, but you can just like slap this dude down, clear their board. And the one thing about this deck is that they don't negate or block it. Uh, Gotenks doesn't have a ton of like efficient combo power. Uh, so a big double strike crit is just, it, it can be hard for them to deal with, especially if they don't negate it, then they're probably taking the double crit. Um, max power Kamehameha again, is just a really good negate. Um, it's really good against like Sin Shenron. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see a ton of Gogeta BR, but we don't really have a way to deal with them in this deck. Uh, other than this so it's nice being able to just like warp it uh for the greater good um i just in case i ran into any invoker uh you know you draw that as long as you see it you won't die to apex um urgent aid kami uh i did play test a game or two against marcus's soul striker and it was honestly like a pretty tough matchup because he, he was able to put on a lot of good pressure and just like all his free like untaps um he was able to just put a lot of pressure on and then just wall up on my turn and it, it was really hard to do any damage through his defenses um and urgent a kami just completely changed that matchup because the one thing blue doesn't have is an efficient way to deal with like one drops right um so like just playing it out completely changed the matchup in my favor uh Dodoria is Again, shout out to Andy. Andy gave me the idea for Dodoria. Uh, it's really good against uh, negates like Topo or um, any other two drop or less negates. Yep. Uh, so it's just an efficient card. Uh, Jiren, um, if I ran into any blue strategies that were trying to ramp into turning the tide, I had a flex spot on my side. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw in Jiren and hope I can cheese somebody when they play turning the tide. Um, Kakunza was actually one of the MVPs of my side deck. Uh, I didn't see anybody else side deck this in the mirror match, and this card alone like won me quite a few mirror matches. Uh, just because, again, like Frieza counterplay is so important in that mirror match, and sometimes it's just like who sees more of it <laughs> wins. Uh, so having another card that I can just like leave two energy up, especially if I'm on the draw and my opponent gets to play their Grim Reaper first. I can just leave two energy at pass. Um, and then I don't need need even need a unison on board. If they play Grim Reaper and swing, I can play Kakunza, pop it. Um, and then a lot of times, like depending on what else you have on board, if it sticks, like you have a 20k attacker now to like pressure their unison with. More importantly, you just get to keep more Grim Reapers off of your opponent's side of the board. So Kakunzo is actually insane in the mirror match. Um, and I think going forward, a lot more people should be citing it just because of how insane it is against the mirror. I was talking to Andy. I want to put it in the main deck. I like it a lot in the main deck. Um, but yeah, I'll have to mess with it going forward. Yeah, I, especially if, if the meta stays the way it is. And yeah, you, you could definitely main deck it. Uh, two of the Vegeta... Um, 
I, 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 I cited him in a couple times, but honestly, he never came up. Like, four energies pretty costly uh, i thought there'd be like scenarios where it'd be cool to just like be able to just snipe uh, a unison and swing in with like a big triple strike but mm -hmm. uh it honestly never came up so i probably would not side him again um and then the, the second all out assault go tanks uh it's pretty good in like the mirror match just being able to like pressure your opponent's unison and still be able to pressure their life um and other niche matchups uh where you just want like more threats um so yeah that's why he was in there very cool man all right that's the whole deck congratulations on a very successful weekend uh any shout outs you want to get out there uh of course shout out to you and all the the teammates from cross world um definitely always anytime you know an event happens i always go off your guys feedbacks because you guys test a lot you guys give good knowledge and uh it definitely helps me out when i can't play test um and also thank you for having me uh you know you put in a lot of work for this community and always happy to help you out awesome man my pleasure uh and we will see you next time you talk all right thanks bro